please say hello to K Radio audience. A big hello to the K Radio audience. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for the opportunity to, to reach you and to speak with you. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask how do you see increasing number of Asian people, including Korean, and what can you help with? We are seeing an explosive growth in our Asian community here in Nassau County, including the, commu the, the Korean community. And it's very important that we connect with all of our communities, and specifically to the Korean community. I want to reassure everyone that your government is here for you. We are looking for ways to connect with you, to let you know what we're doing in terms of public safety, in terms of public service, uh, social services, in terms of paving roads, just very, very basic things. And one thing that we did last year is we we created an Asian American Affairs office to make sure that we're reaching our growing Asian community. Um, our director of that office is named Farah Mazawala, and she has done a fantastic job in making sure that we're reaching everyone, including our Korean community. Um, our Korean community is made up of wonderful residents, wonderful citizens who are entrepreneurs, professionals, um, who are really just a wonderful, vibrant part, an important part of our, of our county. And we want them to know that they are protected by us, they're respected by us, and that we are here to serve them. Hmm. Can you explain more about Korean um, Asian American Agency and its plan this year? So the plan this year is to continue doing cultural events. Um, we're celebrating the Lunar New Year, for instance, which we're just starting, but also to um, tap into the economic development aspect of the Korean community. We have a lot of very successful Korean-run businesses, businesses that are run with Korean CEOs. We want to make sure that we're creating a business-friendly environment for them, that we're reaching out to them and you know making the most of them and letting them reach their potential. Mm -hmm. We know that it can be hard to do business in New York, in Nassau County, and we're on a real mission to make it easier to be more business friendly. Uh, as you know, 2020 census uh, is very important, especially to um, immigrants. And can you? Uh, give us an encouragement to practice more? Practice Ab more. Oh, this is so important that everybody is counted. The federal government uses census numbers to decide on what kind of resources to give us. And, you know, we're talking about real dollars for education, for economic development, for roads, for programs for people who need it. It's also very important because how many Congress people you have in your area depends on your population. So if, if we are undercounted, we will not get the right kind of representation that we deserve. Now, a lot of our immigrant communities are skeptical right now about being counted. We're hearing about this. There was a question as to whether there would be a citizenship question on the census, there won't be. But our job is to, to connect with key stakeholders in every community and to tell them that it is absolutely safe to be counted, that the information that the Census Bureau collects is not shared with any other agency on any level of government. And, you know, our county, we're the fifth hardest to count county in of the 62 counties in New York State. I mean, that's a big deal. We're hard to count what, because we do have an immigrant community, because we do, you know, our housing, we have housing issues that make it hard to count. A lot of children under five aren't counted. They count. Every child under five counts as a, as a whole human being. Uh, so we have started a complete count committee working with the Asian Affairs Office, with the Hispanic Affairs Office, with Minority Affairs Office making sure that we're connecting with civic groups, with business leaders, with labor leaders, with faith leaders, with immigrant advocacy leaders about the importance of being counted. I mean, it, how, how much funding your school gets, what kind of after-school programs, how much money comes to pave the roads, those very basic things are decided on census numbers. Everybody counts in our county, we want to make sure that we're counting them all. Uh, as you know, the coronavirus um, is quite spread. I mean, um, the residents are a bit worried. So can you guide us some safety, uh, health safety? Absolutely. Um, so as you and I are speaking right now, we do not have a reported case in Nassau County at this moment. Uh, however, we just want to urge everyone the same basic common sense advice. There is no need to panic. Just make sure you wash your hands regularly, carry hand sanitizer in your bag, keep it in your car, use it regularly. If you have to cough or sneeze, cover your mouth, cover your nose, and if you don't feel well, 
or your child doesn't feel well, please stay home. It's the same advice when there's a flu, when there's any, any kind of virus like this. Just take care of yourself, take care of your family, keep your hands clean, and if you're not feeling well, stay home and call your doctor. That is the best way you can protect yourself and protect any potential virus from spreading. Um, I would like to ask what your political vision, your longer term um, plan as a politician? So I'm in my, right in the middle of my first term as county executive. Um, it's a job that I love. I am planning to run for re-election in November of 2021. And uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, we have sort of inherited uh, a lot of messes in Nassau County. There was a real culture of avoidance, a real culture of sweeping things under the rug, a culture of not dealing with difficult problems. But we all know what happens when you avoid something you don't want to do. It doesn't go away, it only gets worse. So we're on a real mission to solve the problems of the past, to clean up the messes of the past, and to move this county forward. Um, we've got wonderful development around our Nassau Coliseum, the hub, which is meeting every benchmark. We're going to be seeing shovels in the ground in not too many months from now, which is great. The Belmont Arena is being built for the Islanders so they can stay here in Nassau County. We're encouraging more transit-oriented development, so rental apartments around train stations for young people so we can keep our young people. Too many are leaving. You know, we spend a lot of money and resources and time educating our kids. We've got a great education system, but all too often they leave. We want to keep them here. So the last but not least, um, please um, say anything to an encouragement or give us a greeting, please say, um, say anything to the audience. Well, first of all, I just want to say a very happy, prosperous, and healthy New Year, Year of the Rat. I know that we're going to lots of celebrations, and it's a, it's a great thing. And I just want our Korean residents to know that in Nassau County, we see you, we respect you, your uh, success, your safety, and your connection to government is very, very important to us. We just want everyone to know that we are your servants and that we are here for you. So please, don't be afraid to reach out if there's something that you need, if there's a concern, a question, an issue. I want you to know that Nassau County is here for you. So the Agent American Agency is here to represent the 10.5% of the population in Nassau County, which is Asian. And we, our mission basically is to uplift the Asian constituency and make sure that they have the access to the resources that the government provides. We want to reach out to every community to make sure they are able to get all of these resources. Also, we do a lot of cultural events to celebrate diversity to make sure that all residents know that they are uh, celebrated, they are part of Nassau County, and they are included within Nassau County and they're the fabric of Nassau County. So that's what our office mainly does. We do economic development, we do workforce development, we are very involved with the census initiative. We basically are the seat at the table for the Asian constituency. We meet with all of the different leaders from the different Asian ethnicities within Nassau County. We, we meet with them, we learn the pulse of the community, what the needs are of the community, and we make sure that Nassau County government is able to understand those needs and provide the resources for those needs. Can you share your longer or shorter plan or vision for So for right now what we're doing is we're gathering all of the different stakeholders from the different communities and learning what their needs are. Once we establish what is important to them and their priorities, then we've created a strategic plan for 2020 to um, you know, implement all of these. For instance, we're working very heavily on workforce development, trying to get them into uh, civil service jobs in Nassau County and let them know about the different jobs available. We're working with them. Census is very important to this community, so we're working with the census to try to make sure that everyone is aware of the importance of the census, all of these communities, because they are hard to count. Another initiative that we are working on is seniors, senior programs. The Asian population, every single one of them has mentioned that they have an aging population of seniors and they don't know how to access the services, whether it's Medicaid or how to even apply for Social Security or go to our senior center. So we want to make sure that the senior centers are accessible to Asian seniors, that they have programs that Asian seniors want to attend, and that we are able to tell them about these programs. So any, any Korean audience who is listening to this uh, program, uh, can they help with translation service? 
Yes, we are working diligently to make sure that all of Nassau County agencies have language access. And our office, very often people from the Korean community and uh, different communities call us and we are the resource center, the hub, and we disseminate the information to the different communities. And also whenever they have a question, they call us and we are able to refer them to different agencies. We get a lot of calls, not only from the Korean community, but all Asian communities about domestic violence, immigration, um, how to navigate government. So our job is to stay on the phone with them, ask them, what do you need? Um, how, how can we help you? We get questions, calls about jury duty. They don't even know how to fill out the jury duty papers. So we explain to them, you know, the different processes and we follow up with them to make sure that they are able to uh, get whatever they need. So, so that's our major. Anyone who job. wants help from Asian American agency, they can either call or um, any information from where they can search. So they can, uh, if you go to Nassau County Office of Asian American Affairs on Facebook, we're on Facebook, we're on WeChat. So we have WeChat um, group that you can join. We're on WhatsApp and Viber. Uh, we have a website, NASA County, uh, when you go to the Nassau County government website, you can click on to our department. Our phone number is 516-572-2244. You know, I'll give you my cell number. You are able, you know, reach us at any time. We are there for you. We will respond to you almost immediately, any time of the day. We're there to support this constituency. Uh, one of the things that the county is doing, we're doing the Yu Gun Sun Award for uh, children ages, girls ages 16 to I think 17 or 18, and this is a scholarship. It's the first minister municipality in uh, all of America to present this award. So we're very excited about that. So that's based on human rights and her accomplishments. So we want people to know about it and be aware of it because she is a national hero. Oh, please say, uh, um, explain more about that. Well, Yugen Sun was a hero for the Korean uh, community. And the more we learn about her, we realize she is a national hero for all of us. And she is a source of pride for all women and it's about women empowerment so they are giving an award to young girls to a scholarship for college and they have to write an essay and they're not only going to get an award but I think the Korean government is going to be giving them a trip to Korea which we're very excited about South Korea. 